There is nothing free or fair about this vote. People in occupied parts of Ukraine cast ballots in a referendum to join Russia, widely dismissed as a sham. Votes are now being counted, but with zero suspense, as the outcome is expected to be yes. It would pave the way for Vladimir Putin bogusly to declare four occupied Ukrainian regions as Russian. The governor of one of the regions said this could raise the risk of Moscow using nuclear weapons against Ukrainian troops fighting to regain their land. Ми повинні бути максимально готові до нього. Є готові настільки, щоб Росія розуміла, що цей крок їх веде у таку прірву і що навіть застосування його вони можуть не встигнути просто його застосувати. He had a message for all those mobilized to fight in Ukraine. Росіян, повторюсь, є вибір: або заходити на територію України і вже живими звідти не вийти, або вийти не повноцінними людьми, не зі всіма частинами тіла, або здаватися в полон, або робити національний спротив у себе на території Російської Федерації. The city of Kramatorsk is a symbol of Russia's limitations. Emptied out by the war, but still fully under Ukrainian control, it lies in the heart of Donetsk region, a core target of the phony referendums. Yet residents here still pay the price. This couple tidy away after a rocket strike. They don't seem bothered about Russia's land grab. More misery at an evacuation point in a next-door region for those fleeing areas occupied by Russia. We meet families who've escaped from parts of Zaporizhia as well as Kherson region, both also targeted by Russia's referendums. This mother fled her village before voting. She didn't believe it would be fair. Displaced and distressed, but these are the lucky ones. They've at least escaped the distorted reality of life under Russian occupation. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, southeastern Ukraine.